Hey everybody, how's it going? I am Sethum, and today in this video, folks, I am going to be showing you how to make beer in the game of Ark. Now, beer is, of course, used for taming the Calicotherium, and in this video, I'll show you how to make it. So, if you folks enjoy this video, please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos here on this channel? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. And remember to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos. Also, for those interested in hanging out with me, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. Links to this can be found down below in the video's description, as well as in a pinned comment. So, as I said at the beginning of the video, I will be showing you how to make the beer. And for this, you will need berries, thatch, a beer barrel, which needs to be irrigated. Now, I don't know if you can just put water jars in there, but I think it needs to be irrigated. Beer is something that you can drink, or you can put a jar in the beer barrel to get it into the jar and use that to tame a calicotherium which is a passive tame so of course because I said I am going to go down the irrigation pipes as a route of placing down my beer barrels I am going to use water pipes and I'm going to use the intersection water pipes I will obviously connect it to my main water supply after which I will then place the beer barrels on top of that depending on the position that I want it to be in. That way it should show up as irrigated and I'll show you exactly how to do this in a bit. So the very first thing we need is the beer barrels. I'm gonna load them up and as you can see I've already and as you will be able to see they are all intersections and they snap to the end of the intersections. So I'm gonna place down a couple of beer barrels once I finish putting down the beer barrels, or once you finish putting down the beer barrels, what you will want to do is access its inventory. As you can see, they are all irrigated because they are snapped to the pipe. So do make sure that your beer barrel is irrigated. Once that is done, I think that's okay. I'm happy with that. I mean, this last one doesn't quite seem to be in line with the others, but... Uh, Let's try that again, see if that works. I'm not quite happy with the alignment for some reason. Okay. I don't think there's much I can do with that. Kind of sucks. Anyways, now that you have placed down all of the beer barrels, what you want to do is go into the inventory and put in berries and thatch. So I'm going to go and grab some thatch. I'm going to drop off all the wood and the stuff that I got from that. And I need to get some berries, so I'll go and get some stuff off of one of my dinos, which is out there. See if this says anything. So as you can see right there, it says what you need to place in it. I just wanted to point that out. And you can place in it, as far as I know, just about any form of berry along with thatch and a bit of time of course you will then get beer I'm not sure exactly how long it takes to make beer but it does take quite a while and so I am going to go and get some stuff off of one of my herbivores that I use for collecting berries so I think I'll get some things off of you we've got thatch and we've got berries I'm trying to keep it all organized here I'm going to take up all the thatch. I'm just going to put random numbers in. But generally you want berries and thatch put into the irrigated beer barrel. Uh, I think I'll go for that. I might put in some major berries. Alright, so let's put in all the stuff. And after collecting all the things, 
I have managed to have a look at the wiki and so you will need to place in 40 thatch and 50 regular berries so it needs to be a stack of 50 and in six hours you will get one beer liquid which I'll show you later on what it looks like in the game obviously it takes about six hours to create one beer liquid and you can use any berries providing that they are stacks of 50 so I'll crack on with putting in all the thatch and berries. I'm trying to keep them as grouped as possible. However, I'm not really keeping track of what I put in. I'm just doing it randomly. Okay, so we have everything. I'll see you folks once the beer is ready. Alright, so quite some time has passed. Let's check on our beer barrels. As you can see, we now have two beer liquid in each barrel there's still more to come once things are ready so in order to get the beer out you will need some water jars I'm gonna take some of these actually I think I have some empty ones somewhere uh, yes I'm gonna put these back because I have some empty jars I just need to remember where I put them so I know I gave Mike who helped me out with the previous video some stuff nope he's not got an empty jar okay I'm gonna look in here. I think I have, might have them in my vault. I just need to find them. I wish I knew. <laughs> I wish I thought about that. There we go. Yeah, I found them. So now that I found out where my empty jars are, I'm just going to check all of my vaults. Make sure I've not got them spread anywhere else. And then I'm gonna show you guys what happens if you do put a water jar that has water in it. As you can see, nothing happens. So it's very important. It does need to be an empty jar. In order to craft a jar, you will need crystal. And obviously, once you have an empty jar, just go place it in the beer barrel's inventory and wait for it to turn into a beer jar. To craft a beer barrel, you will need to be level 36. And it will require 500 wood, 80 metal, 100 cementing paste, and you can craft a beer barrel when you consume it you will become intoxicated and I'm just going to place some of these in here so you can see they do stack up as well you have a three second cooldown after consuming one you can also place it in your inventory and you have to place it in the zero slot to tame the calcotherium which is a passive tame once consuming it, you do become intoxicated, which will mean that you will have a reduced consumption of water and you will also have your stamina deplete faster. And that is how you make beer. As you can see, there are bubbles coming out of my head to indicate that I am intoxicated and it does apply a tint to the visuals. And as you can see, it does not have a spoil timer, so that means you can store it for quite a long time. Once you do consume it, you do get your jar back in the form of an empty jar. And that is it for this video, folks. I do hope that you have found the information in this video useful and have enjoyed it. If you have, please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new for more similar content. And if you have just subscribed, remember to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new content. And why not check out some of my other videos here on this channel? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. Also, for those interested in hanging out with me, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. Links to this can be found down below in the video's description as well as in a pinned comment, and until next time, stay safe folks.